each time I lie down to sleep it is the same. The same grass, the same sky, the same fringe of trees, almost at a distance, some slight sounds at the edge of attention. The way of getting there is always the same. I leave my apartment, I walk to the park, I choose some spot, not too close to the struggle. Not too close to people, not too far away, where the ground or the grass is soft enough that I can lie there without pain. Some days there is pain anyway. Some days there is pleasure. Some days there is neither pain nor pleasure, but simply a numbness. Perhaps I am wrong. Perhaps none of these things are true. Something occurs. Something is felt. Something is entered into again and again and is always the same. La même chose, the French say. The memory shows or it's glimpsed at least. The same. Even as this morning, though I slept well, though the night had been, as the nights have been, uneventful, I woke thinking the same thought I always wake thinking. I will get up. I will leave the apartment. I will go to the park. I will choose a spot to lie down. The grass will seem the same. The sky will be the same. Clouds, perhaps, yes, or some other detail to vary. But the sky, yes, always the same. Only another slight portion of that blue, yes, the same. Each day I fall asleep. Each day I dream. Each day the dream is the same. The details. The slight feeling of panic. Fear of waking. Fear of not waking. Each day somehow the same. Wanting the same. Fearing the same. Things. Details of things, details of the dream, a dream, the same, slight variations, the same, slight variations, the same. I have already remarked on that. Each time I lie down to sleep, it is the same. The same grass, the same sky, the same fringe of trees almost at a distance. Slight sounds at the edge of attention, nagging, insistent at least. There, present in the air, in the dream, I leave my apartment. I walk to the park. I choose some spot not too close to people, not too far away, where the ground or the grass is soft enough that I can lie there without pain. There is pain anyway, there is pleasure. Some days there is neither pain nor pleasure, only a numbness. Not a kind of numbness, as I would have said once, as I did say once, told you. No, not you, someone else, but I was wrong in any case. There is something that occurs, something that is felt, something that is entered into again and again and again, always the same. What is the obsession with talking of this, the need? What are these rituals we perform daily patterns, routes we take going places, habitual paths we wear and spaces we cross, the heart, the rituals of the heart? What is the point in telling this to you who have passed through this space again and again, never noticing, noticing but never grasping the significance, grasping the significance but never seeing the worth? What is the obsession with rehearsing this pain, this pleasure, this numbness? Each day I fall asleep. Each day I dream, fear of walking, fear not walking, wanting the same, fearing the same. Details, slight variations, the same. 
Wake to say, I had a dream as you turned toward me. I say, as you turned toward me. I had a dream. I say, you turned toward me. What is the point in saying that, saying this, talking to you? You have woken from a dream, have said that, remark on that. I too, waking, remark how each time it is the same. The same grass, sky, trees, almost at a distance. Sounds pressing, insistent there, present in the air in the dream. You leave the apartment, walk to the park, choose your spot, not too close to people, though they are difficult to avoid, not wishing in any case to be too far away, where the ground or the grass is soft enough, or there is simply room enough, and that is, that is enough. Pain, pleasure, numbness, indifference, something that occurs, something that is felt, something that is entered into again, the same, again and again. What is the obs obsession with talking of this? What is the need? We have these rituals daily, hour, moment to moment, it seems, patterns, paths we like, habitual patterns, not habits perhaps, though there is meaning there I like, saying that at times calling them habits, but sometimes more than that, superstitions or rituals we have forgotten the meaning of, lost paths to ecstasy we could achieve through what we call the same. Courting change when change is what takes us away, fearing ecstasy because ecstasy is part of the same. And so each day I fall asleep, each day I dream I wake, when I longer, no longer wake, will I continue to dream? Will the dream I have then be the same, always the same, is that the fear? Waking, I fear not waking, not waking, I no longer fear. Waking, I find you there, not waking, I no longer know where you are. Something does change, remains the same. Waking, I find the grass the same. Waking, I find the sky the same. Waking, I see the same fringe of trees almost at a distance. Hear the same sounds pressing, insistent there. Present in the air as in the dream. What I had thought, I had imagined or heard in some other world, that world here perhaps. I get ready to leave the apartment. I get ready to walk to the park. I imagine myself choosing the spot, not too close to people, though people are difficult to avoid. I worry about whether the ground will be soft enough, whether the grass will be damp or dry. I want it to be the same, the same as it was the last time, the same as it must be this time, the same. There is something in that, something in that wish, that desire, that longing for everything to be as it was, the same. Some days I think I understand it, understand myself, our, ourselves, us, I think I understand it. And when I think I understand, understand it, what I grasp is what it is that is the same, la même ch chosen. But each day, there is little hesitation. Each day I fall asleep. Each day I wake knowing I'll fall asleep. Then I'll dream, I dream, I'll awake. I awake, I wake. You are there and turn towards me. All of you are there and turn towards me. Revel revelations of the flesh. Revelation of such otherness. Revelations in the moment of waking and dreaming. Dreaming and waking the same, always the same. Vivid or distant, the same. Brilliant or dreary, the same. Windows, the same. Rain, the same. A door, the same. You, me, the same. The same. Suppose it were not so. Suppose each day, each moment were different. Suppose each time anything occurred, it was always and absolutely different. We would wake up, we would leave our our home, we would walk to a park, we would look for a place to lie down, not too close to people, not too far away, a place that was not too hard or too soft. Would we? How would we? What would we know, knowing? Would we know what pain was? Would we know what pleasure was? Numbness, 
Or would it all be sensation, always different and yet always undifferentiated? Each encounter would begin the process of knowledge anew. Each encounter would be itself. There would be no coherence, no comprehension as we understand it. Because nothing would be the same. The spot was the same, the park the same. It would seem unique. It would be the same, but we would not, could not remember its sameness. We rail against that sameness. We curse it. We equate it with boredom, conformity, all that we think of as worst in our world. Too much the same, we say. It's all the same, we say. Everything just always feels the same, we say. And we long for difference. We long for everything to be different. We try new clothes, new addresses, new sensations, relationships, partners with whom we do the same things we did before, hoping somehow this time it will be different. But each day is the same. Each experience of ecstasy is the same. Each experience of boredom, joy, suffering, indifference is the same. We remember the sameness. We say to ourselves, I have felt this way before. I'm tired of feeling this way. Or it's nice to feel this way again. Different. The same. La même. Different. More real each time. It repeats itself. Suppose it were not so. Suppose each day, each moment, each second were an eternity of difference. Each occurrence always and absolutely different. Getting up, we leave our home. Going to the park, we look for a place to lie down. Not too far from people. Not too close. A place neither too hard nor too soft where we could lie down and sleep, lie down and dream, lie down and gaze up to the sky, always different, the sky, the trees, almost at a distance, and the sound, all different and undifferentiated. There is something in that, something in that wish for difference, that longing for everything to be as it is not. Some days I think I understand it, think I understand myself, ourselves, us, the way we long. And in that longing, that desire, that duration of wanting, which is always the same, I think I understand our ache of, for differences. And when I think I understand it, what I grasp is what it is, that it is always about it. Long longing, moment after moment, full of that same yearning that same wish for difference and each day there is that little hesitation that is always the same each day I fall asleep each day I wake knowing I will once again fall asleep and each day is that on off on off moment of consciousness moment of unconsciousness moment of being neither conscious nor unconsciousness unconscious into which a dream erupts from the sleeping into the waking world, a dream of longing, a dream of desire, a dream full of the wish for difference, on, off, off, on, the same, the same, the same, the same longing, the same dream, the same difference, the same desire, 